Welcome to the January 17th ZBA meeting here in South Deerfield. Uh, members present, Chris, myself, Kathy, and Rich. Um, let me see. I want to remind you that the meeting's being recorded. And the first thing uh, we should do is review the minutes from last meeting. We've all had an opportunity to the meeting minutes. We have a motion to accept the meeting minutes. A motion we accept the uh, minutes from the December 20th, 2018 meeting. All those in favor? Aye. Yes. Accepting the minutes. Okay, so the Zoning Board of Appeals of the Town of Deerfield will hold a public meeting on January 17th, 2019, 7 p.m., main meeting room. Deerfield Municipal Offices, 8 Conway Street, South Deerfield, on the application of Julie Wisk of 6 Coates Avenue, South Deerfield, Mass. The applicant is requesting a special permit to extend a non-conforming structure to allow the continued use of a hot tub deck 7 feet 11 inches from the side property line. The existing house is about 4 feet from the same property line. So as far as a, a quorum, we need four members to vote, and, th and it has to be unanimous. And I am an abutter to your property. So if I do not vote, we do not have a quorum here to, to proceed. Do you have any objections to me voting? No. Um, I feel I can be... Um, fair with my vote, but I wanted to give you the opportunity. If you didn't want, we could stop right here. You're okay with it? Yeah. Okay. All right. So do you have any information you'd like to present? Um, any additional information about what you, um, um, if you want to come up to the mic and if there's anything additional? Want to just tell them about Julie, the closest of butter? Yeah, yeah, please come just come to the mic and yeah. state your name and your address, please. And then if you could just tell us yeah. like a, a synopsis of how this came about. And all okay, my name is Bob Peters. Uh, I'm Julie's boyfriend. Um, we've lived together for five years. Um, all this started was I had my carpenter build a platform for a hot tub and I should have taken out a permit, Julie reminded me at least three times to take out a permit. And I am a painting contractor. I run a painting business and this season was just particularly uh, busy at the end because of all the rain we had and I just completely neglected to get a permit. And then one day, I forget the name of the gentleman, uh, the building inspector showed up and you know, wanted to know what was going on. And he had me come up with a list of how it was built, uh, the materials that were used. And he wanted to know, the most important thing uh, was that he wanted to know the exact uh, length or the, the closeness to the, to the closest abutter. Um, and, and I figured that all out. And um, and then, you know, we kind of went around, you know, how do we deal with this? And, you know, he was the one that suggested that we might want to try uh, filing for an appeal under the, you know, the fact that the, the house is closer than the, the hot tub platform itself. Um, and that's kind of where we're at, you know, we've paid the paid the money to have the ad put in the uh, Greenfield Recorder, paid the, the money to have all of the uh, letters sent out to all of the abutters. Um, and the only, the only abutter that we have had contact with is Julie, which is our next door neighbor. Uh, she's the closest abutter. And she said that she would call and let you guys know that it was fine with her um, that we were a little bit closer than than what the bylaws. Uh, Is that Julie? Oh, sorry. Julie Eubanks? Yes. yes. Okay. okay. 
she had to go out of town. Okay. Okay. Can I go okay. back? Yes, you <laughs> Anybody have any questions? Or? Any questions? <laughs> Do you feel guilty? <laughs> <laughs> you have questions? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just, it's no, uh, kind of intimidating. I have, to, <laughs> I have to say that, you know, I think on your application, I think it came through that the honesty about how it came about and all that I think is, is laudable. Some people try to make excuses. So it's nice that you, you know, just came out with it. That's well, we good. figured we'd, we'd apply and if we don't get it, then, you know, we'll, do whatever we have to do. We want to, we want to comply, mm -hmm. you know, because we, we live in the, the town, so. Right. Yeah. Can you move the house four feet? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so normally at this time I'd ask if there's any public in favor or any public opposed, and there, there are no people mm -hmm. other to, else to ask, so mm -hmm. um, I'll close the meeting to the public at uh, 7.06, and we'll discuss it amongst ourselves. And like I said, it has to be a unanimous yes vote. So if uh, during our discussions, I, when we're finished discussing, if you don't think that you're going to get a unanimous vote, vote, I will allow you to withdraw your application without prejudice and uh, do what you have to do to reapply. Okay. Could, could you just explain that again? The, the four of us, four of us are going to discuss amongst ourselves the situation. And we can right. take we can take like a straw vote, so you get an idea if you think all four of us are in favor or, or not. And so if it's not unanimous, and then you'll give us a chance and you get, and to you, withdraw the application. You can withdraw your application without prejudice, and then go about another means to to get what you want. Okay. So, for instance, when there's more board members here, you know, Okay. So, right. Yeah. Since it's got to be unanimous, unanimous. Because okay. if you don't. If you, if you're no, I just didn't understand the part about with, without prejudice. <laughs> Me, no hard feelings. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Because yeah. if we vote, if we would vote against it, then you would not be able to do pursue any other uh, avenue oh, I for, two years. for two okay. years. Oh. Two years. So I we see. give you the okay. chance to wow. say, wait okay. a minute. Yeah. Let us rethink this. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yes. All right. So seven seven o seven o seven p.m. We'll close the meeting to the public, and we can can discuss it. Well, Frank, I think you're uh, that you'd be somebody who'd be know the situation the best. Yeah. How are your uh, feelings about yeah. it? And well, any kind of inconvenience going on with this that you? Um, other than yeah. the fact that the a permit wasn't pulled initially, mm -hmm. I think when you do that, it takes everybody's interests into account um, mm -hmm. because you know if there's rules or changes that can be made or need to be made, um, the <coughs> person applying can take care of that mm -hmm. right off the bat and make the process a lot easier. Mm -hmm. um, right, certainly. Because we can't condone that, uh, certainly. Right, we can't, we can't say yes to allow people to start projects and then go back, mm -hmm. backtrack to get the permit they need to move mm -hmm. forward. It's mm -hmm. not setting a good precedent. Yeah. Kathy, uh, I know that you had um, been by there today, so did you see anything that was, that raised a flag? Or no. Hmm. Yes, and it's because it's are there are already non-conforming structures, as far as I can tell, all over those residential lots over mm. there. So right, sure. Nothing stuck out. Not no, I don't mean it's nothing mm. negative about the neighborhood. I just right. mean like <laughs> right, sure. I think the way the lots are yeah. the measurements in different spots. Right? Sure, yeah, from another time. <laughs> and that being taken into account could make their application easier mm -hmm. to, to go through. Mm -hmm. If there's not a lot of properties there right, to already. inform me. To begin with, that, that would be an argument in their favor. Absolutely. To, to do it the right way. And mm -hmm. also, I was actually the only thing I was totally curious about tonight was to see if anybody would show up, any neighbors. Mm -hmm. that yeah, would say, that was my main thought. That would say, yeah. mm, because that, w that could have swayed me to say, well, right. you know, I don't know. But we did get one neighbor showed up. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good neighbor, though. <laughs> Rich, do you have any and thoughts? It, and agreed, of course, it's better to take out. A yeah. permit in advance, right? Mm -hmm. Of course. But do I think we need to make make an issue out of it this time with this one? No, mm -hmm. I don't. I agree with that. Any thoughts, Rich? 
Actually, kind of sums it up. Yeah. The houses are closer than. <laughs> right. you know, yeah. The setbacks are. Right. And seeing that the house is closer already, that I'm comfortable. Yes, I'm the only one not comfortable just because of the permit process. Um, I, I just feel that, you know, you didn't know you needed one, but now you know that you need one. And I think that's the, the right way to go about it because if you had a neighbor that did something similar, you want the same protections under the permitting process. Absolutely. You'd want whoever necessary to look the project over to make sure it didn't uh, affect anybody else in, in, in a way that would affect their property value or, or anything else and and like Kathy mentioned if all those properties are irregular with boundaries then that should work in your favor to get your permit to proceed so I guess I, I would I would say I, I'm not I'm not for it at this time until you wait well, but that's what they're doing by asking for the special permit now well I think the, the properties were not, uh, the, the structure wasn't approved initially. But, but I applied for a permit. But that's what. And this was the. That's what they, they it's all, this is the process now. Mm -hmm. This is right. the if, after the if, fact if permit. If we don't go, yes, for him, how, like, what is his other option? Other than we go in on I was under the um, understanding mm -hmm. that a building permit was not pulled to do the structure. It was after the fact. And so now the only mm -hmm. thing to do now is. Come here to get the special permit right. granted. I applied that. for the permit, but that was after yeah. the building inspector came right. out. And then so I said you have to come to the Board of Appeals to get it. And then I put permit. an application in, and then and I the sat down permit. with the gentleman, and we discussed what you know options that that I could take to. Okay, because I thought I saw in the application that, there, that the the deck was built without a permit. I thought Initially, I saw it was yeah. Well, it's not finished yet, but it, it was started without a permit. Yes. But now you have applied for the permit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, 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 okay, it's I my see. fault that okay. she, she's, it's her, her property and she wanted me to get one and I just procrastinated. So, so I didn't understand that it hadn't been finished. So, uh, so I thought that it had been finished. So, yeah, he oh, stopped. Don't oh, do okay. anything else. Oh, so you didn't complete it. When the building oh. inspector came over. Yeah. That's what I, I could see. tell you, or it looked like okay. somebody had stopped. So in other words, he's just asking for a variance before they do this thing. A special permit. Yeah, right. Okay, I'm, I was confused. Actually, so I didn't realize that this, either. It was, <laughs> this is your only option really to come here. That's what I was yeah. told, yeah. 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 It was either this or tear it down and, you know, and put it where it's yeah. right. Oh, well, yeah. Okay, this is what I, what I was reading on. It's crossed out here. Yeah, this, I think that the yellow sheet was the most important sheet. Uh, requesting to extend a non-conforming structure, which is on their house, right. with a special permit to allow the continued use of a hot tub deck, seven foot, 11 inches from the side property line. The existing house is about four feet from the same property line. So in a perfect set world, or town, you would have applied for this before you started work on it. Yeah. He noticed that it was happening. You stopped the building process, and now you're coming here to get an after, partially after the fact, special permit when to I, continue. When I brought that, that's how I understand. Right that's there, how I the, understand. the lady, the lady that's over it. here. I forget what her name is. Be she freaked out when she saw my writing. <laughs> she says, "This is not okay." <laughs> So then, Dick so we had, yeah. Then we had to go down and talk well, to the building inspector. Well, you because he needed him to use some of the words that we right. recognize right. in our bylaws, like mm -hmm. non-conforming non structure right. and well, special permit. What is the setback? Ten feet. Yeah, yeah, it's supposed to be within ten feet, and it's about a foot and an inch. Uh, yeah, seven below. Yeah. And the house is actually closer to the property line. Oh, yeah.
Okay, so you have a permit. You've stopped until you've come before the board, and yeah, you'll the, complete the project upon our approval. Yeah, our hopes are to get a permit and then work with the building inspector to make it. You got a permit, though, you said. That's right. I applied for it. Yeah. Yeah, no. Building permit, not the variance. Right. But to my knowledge, I mean, we haven't gotten any, like we haven't got a piece of paper to hang on the... Right, yeah. right. Yeah. We say now. It's pending, right. Yeah. right. I thought that that was what we had to do by coming mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Correct. Right. Okay. 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 I make a motion. We uh, uh, grant a um, special permit for... Uh, the um, completion of the deck with um, Dick's, Dick's Kalashevsky's input while you're going through the process. I second the motion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? You're good. Okay. Thank you very so. much. Before we move on from, you guys are finished, but. Um, <laughs> uh, I apparently, when I'm writing down the decisions, I need to make sure I write why, why we voted one way or the other. Mm -hmm. um, so, is there a particular finding that you would like me to include with each of you? Just no butters uh, opposed. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and it's not a, so the detrimental to the neighborhood, you know, with some of that wording no, in here. No, nobody came here to yeah. state such. Right. Yeah. Is it, Neighborhood character impacts on natural environment. You know, all these things are all fine. Okay, so no butter. Your folks opposed. are all set. You can head out. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to hang Thank around. you very much. Yes, thank you. Appreciate Thanks. it. Have a good night. So have a good day. Thanks. You too. Okay. The house location is closer than yeah. The house location. I just thought I'd have a few things. That... Okay. Because they said, you know, this one wasn't super controversial, but in general, they, they don't want it to look like it's whimsical when we mm. pare it down or yay right. or nay. They want to say, okay, why did you come to that finding, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. as it relates to how you're supposed to make decisions. So yeah. we're saying it neighborhood care. Kind of a tight box there for yeah. Super tight. Yeah. yeah. Neighborhood character and social structure. Okay. okay. Kathy, you're doing such a good job. <laughs> Very conscientious. Well, this is, yeah, we've been through some harder ones, <laughs> right? So. Yeah. So once you're all set with that. Mm -hmm. I am, thank you. Okay. I, well, let me just, Chris. I have to have everybody sign. I'm going to sign mine. <clears throat> do we have any correspondence? Yes, we do. Yeah. Oh, I did read that. Yeah. Oh, that feeling? Yeah, it looks like we all got a copy of that. So this is to Dick anyway. Seems to be an ongoing thing. And then this, don't let me take this home with me. This is what I inadvertently took home with me once and Pat needs. So. <clears throat> okay, so if we all had a chance to look at this uh, correspondence, a certified mm -hmm. mail. Read it over. You read it over yes. already. I read it over. Kathy and Rich. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Is that the only item? Yeah, the that's the only correspondence we have. Okay. So. Um, All right. Next is a motion to adjourn. Oh, I second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Meeting <laughs> adjourned okay. at 7:20 p.m. Wow.